four 10 millimeter bolts to take this off. Not too bad. Okay, we went ahead and took our door crank out with our special tool here. This is a snap-on version. You can get these uh, probably at O'Reilly or Checkers for like 10 bucks. It's another brand my godfather's using mine right now. But basically, when this is on, you just push this in and it'll push the clip. Pretty simple, now the door panel we could easily clean and put back or even redo it if you want to put a custom color on it. Uh, also, another thing that's really easy to take off is the weather stripping of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and do that. And we will mark this and put passenger side on it after we tape it up. I will just put P on it. for passenger side. All right, time to remove the decals using a heat gun. Now, you don't need a heat gun. You could use a hair dryer to do this. Uh, but what you wanna do, the goal is to soften up the stickers so they peel off easily and not chip now we're looking at our front bumper cover here and like I said I want to cut these inserts out so we can just put a wire mesh in the background here and make it look cool right because this is what it looks like originally so this is our front bumper cover here this is what we're looking at right for the Daihatsu project okay and what I want to do is um, cut these inserts out the rest of them so we can just add a nice mesh in the back here uh, to give it a you know a cooler grill effect not looking like this I mean it had this I think because of the there was an air vent and this is for the horn so the you know the horn toot can blow out we're gonna keep it like this we're just gonna put mesh in back of here as well uh, we're gonna mesh all of this and I'm also gonna come up in here and we're gonna cut out these pieces in here as well so what I did was I got a little drill bit, drill the hole so I can get in there with my little jigsaw here, right? I could go in now and I can cut it out. So pretty easy. So you could do something like this and uh, if you see a little bit of rough edges like in here, right now we got a little roughness, you, that all can be easily sanded out. Okay, so this one I just kind of cut. So here's a rough draft on cutting all the plastic pieces off, right? Just use a little jigsaw there. And you can see that it looks great. Okay, we're not gonna do these little pieces up here because they're just so high to the top of the frame. There's really probably not even gonna have room to put mesh in the back there. It's so tight up. And I'll put this on the car right now so you can have a rough draft look. Okay, so it needs to be sanded smooth to get a nicer look. It's, it's still in a rough draft stage, okay? Uh, it came out really good overall, okay? All this plastic can be smoothed out with about, I would say 100 grit, 150 grit, okay? And then we're gonna 2K prime everything. We did ding it in a couple of areas. Not sure if this is gonna pick up on video. So that's how it looks. Inserts are all cut out. Right, we're gonna put wire, not wire mesh, like a plastic honeycomb mesh that I got off of eBay for about 30 bucks, okay? Which is gonna go in back of this piece here. So let's go ahead and sit it on the truck quickly and see how it looks. So don't mind me right now because I am not in proper work clothes. I just felt like tinkering with this this morning. Okay, so it's gonna sit on like that. 
Uh, and you can see how close this is here. So there's really no sense in putting the mesh up in here, right? But as you can see, up in here, remember how I said we need to paint it black, right? So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna put the mesh in the back of this area. And uh, I think it'll look pretty cool. And we're gonna go over the car really quickly. What I'm gonna do right now is I pulled the bumper off and we're gonna wash everything down uh, because we're gonna start our body work. We're gonna make sure, I did wash it once but it's been sitting for a couple months and I just wanna get it clean again before I start really doing the body work today. So we're gonna be doing a tritone paint job on this thing. It's gonna look really good, silver, teal, and white. And also in the back we're gonna be doing a uh, Raptor U-Paul bed liner. Okay, I uh, got it about 110 bucks for, for four, four quarts of sprayable material. I'll probably have half of it left over, right? So I'll probably only use a little bit for this bed here. It's gonna look good black. And I'm also gonna undercoat the bottom frame black with the same stuff. So we're also gonna wash under here, make it nice and clean. And then later on, we'll mask up the engine, mask up the back there, and then we'll just hit everything with the undercoating, including uh, the leaf springs. All right, the rims, we will be painting them as well at a later time. Um, I'm not sure, I'm thinking silver with a teal cap uh, for the steelies there. I think they'll look really well. And, uh, and that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead, get started, wash the truck down quickly, get it nice and clean and ready for our sanding and body work. You wanna see me wash your car again? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, you're probably tired of me washing cars, but I cannot stress this enough. Look at all that black coming out of the weather stripping there, the molding, the window molding. Check it. All right, this is years of, this is 1989, so this is years of grime, okay, and probably even some rubber coming off there. I use Simple Green spray bottle to wash the whole body down, all right? Super, super important before starting any bodywork project, okay guys, wash your cars down really well, all right? Um, sometimes you're gonna have to wash it two, three times if it's that dirty, all right? Get it clean, wash it down. You can see I hit everything like behind the lights and that whole bottom panel there was all messed up and dirty like crazy, right? So wash everything down this way when you do your body work and when you're doing your primer work and when you finally get down to painting, you're not gonna have any chemical reaction problems, okay? Use some sort of degreaser. I like to use oil eater, I didn't have any, uh, and I'm using Simple Green here. Simple Green's good, it cuts the grease, cuts the grime, and it'll get your, your body. 